Tools by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a repeat gradient effect using patterns. Now, one thing that's uh, for some weird reason is not available in Photoshop is a sort of way to repeat the pattern. If you've got, say, like multiple lines and you want to create multiple copies of that, you can do it in Painter. Painter's got a lovely repeat feature, but uh, there is a way of doing it, like I say, with patterns. So, first thing to do, I'm just going to go over to a gradient here and I'm actually just going to quickly use the colours that are here so I've just got that one and what I'm going to do I'm just going to drag that down to say 10% so it's a manual quick manual job just select that one again then go to 20 you can see I'm just going to build up lines so 20 then 30 grey again 40 blue again 50 I'm just going to go through all these, quickly do 60, so that's blue. I say it would be nice if this could, there was an automated feature to do this, but so you can just do that, and 90, and again, grey. So you've got like that. Click OK. Once you've done that, just go over to the gradient tool, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for the reflected gradient. So I'm just going to start at this. I'm just going to draw it across a straight line. I can't actually see, unfortunately, that bit, so I'm just going to undo that. So I'm going to move that over a little bit. Start there again, <coughs> and then go to the far side. Right, now you've actually got that. What you can do is just go to Edit and Define Pattern. Of course, you could, of course, gone for uh, 5, 10, 15. Obviously, take a bit longer. Not much, but a little bit. So, Define Pattern. Click OK. Right, so once you've actually done that, you can now go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern, click OK, and select the pattern. I've actually created a few earlier, but click that one. And one thing with the patterns, you can actually say 25. So you can actually make repeat patterns or gradients or 10 or 5 very quickly. So you've got nice lines all the way across. Of course, you could have actually done maybe red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, whatever colours you want to actually repeat. Now, once you've actually done that, of course, you can just flatten the image and then you can just apply any effect. Good one is always, I'm going to distort and shear, and then you can just sort of like shear that across and move that, it's not all the way because it bounces back if you go too far, click OK. And there you have it, got a nice line effect, very quick and easy.